there are different ways to develop a software system. Sure, you can just sit down and start typing source code. This works till, well, it doesn't. For anything more complicated than a Hello World app, you will need a way to organize your work. And if you're not working alone, the lack of a reasonably well-defined process is going to lead to chaos. As the complexity of a project and the number of involved people increases, the need for a development process becomes more and more prevalent. Now, different approaches have been invented. We're going to talk about two of the most popular development methodologies, namely the waterfall model, which requires you to have a detailed plan before starting any coding. The requirements need to be fixed. No changes are expected during development. We're also going to talk about the change-friendly, responsive, agile approach, which works great for projects where the expectations can change rapidly and frequently. Now, before we delve into these methodologies, I must tell you one thing. None of these systems can precisely describe every step of the software development process. But we definitely need them to synchronize and organize our development-related activities. Activities that include not only coding, but also design, product management, budgeting, testing, documentation, release, maintenance, and so on.